Rory, looking ahead to Saturday's game against Barrow, we know how much is riding on this one. How are you feeling ahead of it? Yeah, we're we're, we're confident. Um, everyone's in a, in a in a good place um, mentally, physically. It's, it's something that everyone's looking forward to um, on the back of a, a great result last week. Um, I know it was um, quite late <laughs> to say the least, but I think it shows a, a sort of mentality that that everyone's got. Um, within the squad that um, even when we sort of think got not too long left in the game we were still pushing for it still pushing for it and I think it's more than we deserved I mean quickly back to that that game Bolton I, I think one of my favourite photos from the season will be that celebration shot at the end and I think you're in mid-air I think you were the first one on screens when, uh, yeah. when, when you ran over to the corner I, I was I was out there and I could see I think I was shouting at Alex or Fish or someone just go and head it and maybe use a few other words than that. But um, it's just it was just there. It was set up. Credit to Sweens, he's 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 hung around the back and, and managed to time it great. And I said to him after, it's it's a good job you ran this way rather than the other way, otherwise because I was just stood on my own celebrating. But um, yeah, it was it's great. And I think it, you look at as you said them um, the pictures the scenes it, it shows how much it meant to everybody um, the whole squad I think would have been on there if if they could have been um, so yeah it, it is it, it was a big goal and fingers crossed it, it's one that's defining and um, it pushes us in the right direction um, come come the game Saturday I mean if I wasn't up in the gods I think I'd have joined in, in that pile on Look, I mean we know what we need to do on Saturday we know we need to win and we know we need results to go the other way if we do make it into the playoffs, we've spoken before about your experience, particularly when partnered with Alex Hartridge and guiding the younger players. How do you use your experience, especially as someone who's who's been in the playoffs and won them before? Yeah, I think it's, it's just that. It's trying to re- sort of have a look and see how the sort of younger lads are. Like, I can't imagine in training they're going to change too much. I think sometimes, I don't know, they, they, they might start trying to change things just because all of a sudden it's a different game or all of a sudden it's, it's a playoff, for, for example. But I think just for them, it's just about enjoying it and seizing the moment. I think um, it's a great opportunity for them. It's a great opportunity for everybody. But um, these moments also, they, they don't come around too often. I think it's making sure that you don't leave anything in, in the dressing room, as, as they say, and, and, and things like that, and um, keeping everything as, as normal as normal as possible, um, as, as we've shown this season, when when there is a, a high stakes game, um, we we've, we've generally um, come out on top and um, used them experiences that everybody's built up this season, um, and keep, keep moving forward. And I imagine amongst the squad, the belief is there, knowing that if we do win, we only need one one of three teams, to, you know. To fall, um, you know, like I said, the belief must be there that that, that can happen. Yeah, that, I think that's exactly it. It's it's not a case of you just waiting on one result and and hoping for the best. It's a case of it's it's three teams. Um, as as we just spoke about, we we've, we've got to look after ourselves first. Uh, make sure we do um, our, our bit. And and as you said, um, anything can happen. Um, it only takes one of those three results just to fall our way and um, it's, it's not Mission Impossible it's a realistic opportunity um, that's there for us and it's one that um, everyone's looking forward to I think whatever happens on Saturday there's, there's so many positives to take from this season in you know your first season here what some of the observations you've made? I think um, how, how sort of well the, everyone's coped with the the COVID, the training, no fans, travelling to games, games getting called off, coming back, going back up the road, still having that mental capacity to to go out there and, and, and get results when when it's sort of groundhog day for some of the games that, that, that we've had. And um, being able to sort of deal with that is, is something new, I think, even for me. Um, it's it's new, it's an experience that, that you've got to get your head around if, if, even if you think you've had a long trip, this, that and the other. You, mentally, you, you've got to be tough. And um, for some of the lads, it's their, their first full full season in, in sort of professional football. 
you could almost say. So I think it's hard enough as it is, but to be able to have to cope with sort of stuff that, that's out of your control has is, is, is been great. Um, the young lads that have come in, how, how their sort of stature has grown, um, that they've grown into games and um, they've sort of played, probably played a lot more than what they probably would have expected to in their mind coming back into first day of pre-season. And um, it shows how, how strong the squad's been and when sort of lads have picked up niggles or um, missed games for, for whatever reason, the lads that have come in have, have, have come in um, and have not looked out of place. And um, it's it's good that everyone's training well, looked after themselves, because um, equally that's, that's what it's there for, for when you're called upon. Mentally, has this been the toughest season you've known? I think so, yeah. I think it, it started, what was it, the first week in September or sec- second week in September it was, which is, that's five weeks probably later than uh, your, your sort of normal season. Um, plus the the, the cancellations um, that we've had was was has, has made it what what was already a pretty hectic season anyway. Um, the Saturday Tuesdays, as we know, are, are relentless. But this year, it's it, it's been it's, it's been sort of just non-stop. Really, I think that there's not been too many sort of three weeks that that we've had. Um, so it's just it's just been a case of just managing yourself as as much as you want to sort of stay out on the training pitch. Probably do do your extras here and there. You've got to think you probably got another game in a couple of days and then after that another game a couple of days after that so um, managing yourself um, looking after yourself and then uh, away from the club um, make sure everybody's sticking to the rules and I think you look at some of the, the, the COVID outbreaks that, that clubs had and you look at how how, how well w- we've done with it I think from from the playing side of it there was only three three or four cases I think off the top of my head so um, you've got to get, give a a lot of credit to everyone, um, especially I think younger lads. I think it's been difficult if if, if you're sat at home and at, at that age you, you want to be you're there and everywhere and out and about. But um, credit to everyone. Um, everyone stuck by the rules and um, we, we've we've managed to sort of get through it and get to hopefully where where we want to be come Saturday.